Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, we'll continue our series in recognition of Suicide Prevention Month, some health news from Anne Arundel County and the Substance Abuse Office, these stories and more. But first, Maryland Senators Barbara Mikulski and Ben Cardin announced recently that the Maryland Department of Transportation has been awarded $10 million in federal funding to widen Maryland 175. With the intersection of 175 and Rockenbach Road just completed, the widening will extend from Disney Road down to Reese Road. The project upgrades 175 from an undivided two-lane road to a divided six-lane road complete with hiking trails, sidewalks, and an on-road biking facility. According to Senator Cardin, the project isn't just about widening the roadway, it's reducing congestion and improving the quality of life for the Fort Meade community. As we've reported in previous shows, September is National Suicide Prevention Month. We continue our month-long focus with a continuing conversation with Fort Meade Suicide Prevention Program Manager, Marissa Pena. This week, a call out to the entire community to go to the commissary and participate in the Living Tree Project. It's just going to basically be an opportunity for the community to come together. People who are contemplating suicide feel like they, you know, they have no joy, they have no happiness, they, they no, re, you know, no reasons for living. And so we're going to ask everybody to, what brings joy into your life? What brings, you know, happiness into your life? What do you, you know, what is, what do you get out of life? And everybody, kids, family members, you know, everyone that wants to, uh, you know, just write whatever brings joy in their life on the leaf and tape it onto the tree. And we're also just encouraging, you know, families to get involved with their kids and let them know about it and everything. And, you can bring personal momen mementos, um, pictures, whatever. Next week, we'll take a look at the year-round Applied Suicide Intervention Skills Training or ASSIST program. Meanwhile, in more health news, the Anne Arundel County Department of Health is conducting a raccoon oral rabies vaccination program across the county to include Fort Meade. The purpose is to reduce the spread of rabies among wild animals. The campaign takes place through September. On Thursday, Fort Meade areas were baited. The bait is block-shaped, brown fish meal polymer that is approximately three-quarters of an inch thick by one and a quarter inches square. Children and pets should be kept away from tree lines and wooded areas for two weeks to avoid accidental contact with the bait. Pets should be maintained on a leash. Any exposure to the bait should be reported. You can contact the Anne Arundel County Department of Health at 410-222-0056, extension 3025. In other news, Fort Meade's Army Substance Abuse Prevention Program is sponsoring the annual Prescription Medication Turn-In Day on Saturday, September 27th from 7 a.m. to 1.30 at the Exchange and Commissary. It's your opportunity to safely dispose of unused or unneeded prescription and over-the-counter medication. You can leave the medication in its original container, but you should remove any personal information. For more information, you can contact the Army Substance Abuse Program at 301-677-7983. Finally, on this edition, any USO facility at home or overseas simply couldn't operate without its many dedicated volunteers. Meet Sergeant Major John Omer, Vietnam veteran and Fort Meade USO volunteer. The first part of my career I had uh, uh, an MOS, which was 76 uh, November helicopter crew chief, repairman really, and, uh, and I spent about the first 13 years in aviation uh, as crewing helicopters, working on helicopters. And then the second part of my military career, I was uh, in, uh, in Army recruiting. First of all, I didn't know what Vietnam was or where it was. I was stationed in Germany and had a really nice job flying you know, back and forth from Munich, Germany, down to Oberammergau and Garmisch, which were resorts. We were flying VIPs back and forth from the uh, Munich airport. At that point, uh, I liked it so well, I said, this Army is great, so I, I re-enlisted for a present duty assignment. Well, about two months after I had re-enlisted, I came down on alert orders for South Vietnam. And I was assigned to a unit, uh, the 162nd Assault Helicopter Company, and we were right near the Cambodian border. We probably were maybe 10 miles from the Cambodian border. My most fond memory was the fact that I was, in, in 1968, I was able to be on stage with Bob Hope and Ann Margaret. And, you know, that was, uh, that was probably the biggest thrill of my life because Ann Margaret was my heartthrob. Providing services to the, to the service member uh, is selfish on my part because I feel that uh, I once was in their boots. And uh, if we can make them as comfortable as possible uh, during their uh, time here in Fort Meade, then so be it. I'm going to do that. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.